Hello there, welcome to a little guide that's going to show you how to take an MP4 file that you've created with XSplit Broadcaster and take that and get it into Sony Vegas as a video and audio track that you can edit as a single unit and also most importantly uh, the audio and the video is going to stay in sync. Now XSplit Broadcaster, a great little utility but it seems to have a few problems creating its files and keeping them in sync. I think it seems to drop frames all over the place basically. It's not great but uh, it's quite a new tool so uh, you have to expect these little problems. Right, setting up XSplit. First thing, you need to set your frame rate to 30 frames a second. Secondly, go into Broadcast Edit Channels, Local Recording and make sure the file type here is set to MP4. Okay, now um, I've gone and saved a file. It's uh, of the WoW login screen with the original vanilla WoW intro movie playing. So that's playing there. And we can check the, the codec information here in VLC. We can see here the frame rate is 30, as expected. Sometimes you might find, if you look at this, it'll be like 29 point. A, a, a nice number would be 97 because that's NTSC, but it might be like 99954, which implies it's dropped frames. That's going to basically lead to you having nightmares trying to synchronize that up at a later point. So just to prove that this is in sync, if we check later in the movie, we should have um, some cues for things and it's nicely in sync. That's great. Okay, now we're going to use a utility called TS Muxer. TS Muxer is a free utility. It's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. I will put a link in the video description down below. So let's load TS Muxer. It's a pretty simple tool but quite powerful what it can do. Right, we're going to take our MP4 file that's uh, been saved out by XSplit. I'm just going to drag it into it into TS Muxer. And at the top we have input files and that's the file we've just dragged in. Underneath that we have tracks. These are the, the data streams that are inside the MP4 container. So we've got H.264 here which is, uh, that's the video track. And the AAC uh, stream is the audio track. Now we don't care about the audio because when you drag this file into Vegas the audio works fine. Uh, we only really care about the video. And what we're going to do is we're going to strip that video stream out of the MP4 file into its own separate file. Okay, so a couple of things you need to do first before you do that is under uh, select, first off select the H.264 track and then select, uh, select change FPS and change it to 30,000 divided by 1001 and uh, make sure the add picture timing and continually insert SPS slash PPS. I don't know actually what that means but it seems to work with these two selected. Uh, make sure they're both ticked. You don't need to change anything else there. Under the output options select DMUX. By default it's going to save it to the same folder. And then hit start DMUXing. And we get a nice little fairy sound when it's done. The longer the file or the higher resolution the file uh, the longer that's going to take because it's essentially writing out the video stream again to a separate file. So don't be worried if you've got a an hour long 1080p file if it takes a little while to go through that. It's only saving out to disk, it's not doing any encoding so it's kind of limited by your hard disk. Okay, right now Sony Vegas, uh, if we drag in the, the .264 file that has been created Vegas it'll scan it, it'll take a couple of seconds to scan it and uh, we have our file there. The borders are encoded into the file, don't worry too much about that, it's just the way I've encoded it. Uh, now we don't have the audio, that's the opposite of what we actually want. So to get the audio in, if you just drag the mp4 file in and the observant amongst you will notice that we've got this gap here where the, the video file ends and the audio continues playing. 
Now, this is a problem with XSplit. If we check the actual playback of the file, here we've got a nice uh, little easy to spot transition in the video and this should all be synchronized nicely. So if we just play that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, so that's how you do it. Nice and simple. Now, one other thing. You will need to keep both of these files, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, the MP4 file has both of the uh, the video and the audio streams in it, and, um, and the .264 has just the video, but you will need both of those. In TS Muxer, if you extract the audio track as well, that's kind of useless. Sony Vegas for some reason doesn't accept .aac files, it doesn't know what they are. So that's how you do it, nice and simple. The trick is, you need to change the FPS. Don't select 30 here, otherwise it won't be in sync. You need to select this 30,000 divided by 1001. Okay, if you've got any questions or any tips on a simpler way to do this, put them down below in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe as well if this has been useful to you. I'll see you next time.